Today's video is going to be all about testing products. Blank baits is a reproduction from Dinger Customs. It's a pressing of the Little John MD. Uh, we're going to be at our testing facility today here at our above ground pool. Uh, and this is what I generally do. When I get a, you know, a, a run of baits in, I come out here, throw a hook or two on a few of those baits and just swim them in my swim pool and make sure that I've got good pressings. And then after I've painted uh, and before they go out the door, I always try to adjust those up uh, if they needed adjusting and make sure that that bait is, is running good and true. So, so stay tuned after the intro, we're gonna start shooting some video of this baby swimming, see what kind of action we get out of it. Okay, as we spoke in the uh, intro there, we're gonna be uh, doing a product review over this Little John MD pressing. Um, I, I get them from Dinger, I get them from Predator Toot Bass Baits. They're equally as good from either company. Uh, I've got quite a few of these from Schultz as well, but this is our thread fin pattern in the real scale. Uh, and uh, let's get right to it. We're gonna see how these babies swim. I've not tested this bait and so we're gonna see what kind of action we got, if we need to tune the bait. And this one is tuned really good. Uh, again, on this one, I'm using the oval split ring and a snap ring, because I'm doing several product reviews today. Um, most generally, if I use a snap, I don't use the split ring too, but it really doesn't matter. All right, so we're gonna go real slow retrieve. Look at the action. I mean, that's got a good wide wobble. I mean, it looks uh, really good at a slow retrieve. Good swimmer. Let's try a medium retrieve. Medium speed anyway. Again, maintains its swimming action extremely well. And let's burn the bait. Let it settle. Again, runs very true. If that's what you're after, run something to run them really true, uh, again, I think my customer is going to be extremely happy when he gets this out of the package and it runs uh, like it should from the beginning. We, we try to do our own quality control here. Uh, again, and I've, I've got number, uh, number four hooks on this. I like a little bit bigger hooks than number six or number eight. And again, you can see the action that you get out of that stop and go. We do rise, go. Now we're gonna stop it and kill it. It's got a, a pretty fast rise. But again, that's part of our testing. We wanna make sure that these lures are not uh, taking on any water. And again, that goes back to the quality the, that you buy your blanks from. You know, when we put our clear coats over them, uh, they're, I use a thin Tamco high impact clear that's very durable, but it's thin. Uh, and uh, I've got to really inspect those where they press those together at those glue lines. And my experience with the uh, Predator and Dinger is, and Schultz for the most part, is that you always get consistent blanks that are sealed that don't take on water. So it's gonna rise every time. We let it soak in there a little bit. Uh, again, so uh, we've got a good swimmer. Uh, I wanna thank you for, for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the product reviews. And if there's a, a bait out there that you would like me to test or a comparison, if you'd like to see a comparison of this little John's MD action to the Spro MD action, uh, I'd be glad to do that. Leave a comment below. Uh, I've got both of those in my repertoire and uh, this just gives my customers uh, a chance to get into it. Sorry about that when we lost battery. Uh, as I was saying, it just gives my customers uh, an opportunity to get into a, a custom bait at a little less cost up front. So, uh, but but um, anyway, if this is the first time you checked out the channel and you're in, you, you enjoy product reviews on crankbaits, uh, anything really fishing related, we're gonna do those. Uh, we complete online tutorials, so if you're interested in learning how to custom paint, uh, definitely hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. We put videos up uh, 
each and every Saturday. And uh, we also are gonna do some, or have done several DIY videos on, on making your own stencils and just anything to do with, with fishing lures in particular. So thank you again for, for stopping in and until next time, we're signing out.